Hi, Jeff Krause with Krause Go Sports. And what we're going to take you through today is our wide receiver drill progression. We're going to use the huddle format. And we're going to focus here in three categories uh, with focus in catching and ball security being our first, our second category being releases, our third being blocking. Now, all areas here are absolutely critical to developing the best wide receivers we can at every level. Um, and what we're going to show you is the, the Colt Pro pad and Colt pad and the drills that we do and why the, the pad itself is so integral in developing young players and college players as we, as we go through. And you'll see why, why the pros like using the pad as well. Um, it, the, the design by itself really makes a big difference. So we're going to let these, this will just give you a list of what we do in the focus category. And I'll let these play through uh, kind of rapid fire and just talk over it um, more about in the beginning here about what makes the pad pretty good. And you'll see us working on some routes right now and working specific hand placement. And we've got kids anywhere from seventh grade up to juniors in high school that are working out here today. And what you see here are concentration drills, ball security drills. Here you got a release off the line and you can see he's got to come off the line you're not going to get this with any other pad out there and that's why the the college guys just love this for releasing at the line and what they've talked about is the direct hand placement that you get on the elbow there and the eye discipline that it creates so you're working the release now he knows contacts coming there you get the focus knowing contacts coming ball security and it just it, it's really a spectacular drill and I'll let it roll here and you see we we let guys catch it coming in and out of it but what we're trying to do here with these pads is really set up a scenario of environmental training and with environmental training you're trying to create a situation where you can go at a hundred percent speed a hundred percent intensity and still be in a realistic environment so it's essentially the last step before you go live and you'll see on our Colt Pro pad here you've got a pad that has an actual set of shoulder pads on it and they're specially made to be lightweight you got the jersey over the top so you can get in and grab the breastplate but what this really does is it gives the player that visual that he will get when he goes back on the regular field to play and it translates tremendously to when you do go to that next stage of going live now you'll see in this group of of drills we're going to be working on releases here and just some basic stuff with dip rip but doing this against the Colt Pro or the Colt pad, here you see with the jersey and shoulder pads, there's one without. What you're doing is you can take the existing drills that you do with a shield now and put this pad in and you're already upgrading what you're what you're doing today. So whether it's focus and hands, release moves mid-route separation where hand placement is absolutely critical perimeter blocking staying tight getting in on the breastplate getting inside the body frame staying tight it's easy to see as a coach it's instant feedback you saw over there on that last uh, clip here this is a, a great inside move here this is seventh grade kit and hasn't done it so we're going on an inside out release so he's taking that jab step coming back out and you see great hand placement by him right on the elbow he's swimming over the top and we want him to stack that receiver 
which he didn't do there. But we'll get into the specific coaching on each drill as we go through. This is our Python releases. This is just kind of a rapid fire, getting guys using their hands, violent hands, dips, rips, swim moves where you're pinning elbows, double arm swipes. So you want to run the whole gamut of things as you send guys through these drills. And you'll see our in, the, in, in this group of drills, our footwork's not very good. This is uh, kind of our first time out and getting used to these things, but these guys gave it a great go. And you'll see on the blocking, what the pad does automatically for you is it makes guys play inside the frame. If you have a pad without arms, you aren't going to get this. It doesn't translate over at all. And when you go live, if you're going less than 100% speed, guys just don't go hard on each other. And you'll see as you go through here, you can be fully suited up or you can be in shirts and tees like this and guys are going to be going hard at each other. And here you see a stalk moving punch. So we're just working on hand, hand placement, eye discipline to our target, getting in on the breastplate, stalking, squaring up, getting in, and then driving. He's got great pad level. Again, with the pad, you automatically get a look at pad level because you're playing underneath actual armpits. The visual is the same that you get on the field. So if you just have a, a regular shield there, you aren't going to get that. And here you see kind of taking it to the next level where you're instituting uh, just a bubble screen where a running back is going to read the blocks behind them, but guys have to break down. If you have a situation where a defender picks a, picks a lane and he's coming over the top on that and coming down hard, we'll just take him and drive him there and move him on out and get to the sideline and up for as many yards as we can. Okay, wide receiver drills coaching progression. So what we're going to do now is take you through each drill and go specifically through the coaching points that you want to cover <clears throat> when you're out on the field and actually doing these things live. So this first drill, Python releases. You've got four bags set up here. You're going to work a figure eight through each drill. Now what you want to do is have guys implement a plan of attack. So as they go through, you're going to work your pin club, your pin rip, your double arm swipes, your dip rip, all the release moves that you've worked on, you want to get them going here. Now what you'd like to do is have them run their feet here, which you're not seeing at the moment, is having them uh, run their feet here. We really want them to be moving their feet right there and get active feet before they get out here and work against the pad. But you want them to go into this with a plan of attack so that they're working different moves as they go through. And the beauty of this is it gets them having to do it automatically because you have a guy who's trailing them in line. And what you'll see here as we walk through is great hand placement here right on the elbow he's got a dip rip there now he's getting to the next pad he works a double arm swipe so if you watch this area here I'll move it back you went from a dip rip to the double arm swipe and that's a that's a pretty good job right there as far as violent hands are concerned getting violent hands and then he finishes right here with another dip rip and you'll also know here that with the you note know, with the figure eight what it does is it forces guys to stack the corner or the bump and run coverage guy immediately so they stack immediately right behind this guy when they come through in a figure eight format so you're working right-handed releases left-handed releases inside outside it's really a spectacular drill to get a lot of reps in with violent hands and get guys doing different moves off the top. And you'll see as you go through, it really forces guys to play with pad level. 
and and you can see as a coach right here we don't get very good hand placement when we do a double arm move what we want him to do is flip his hips which he does okay we'd like him to open this hip a little bit more but you'll notice the hand placement here watch how high he gets on the shoulder if we're getting into the shoulder what what will happen when we get into a live scenario is it becomes very easy to grab the chest so a DB can get better leverage on you so that's just a little coaching point that becomes very obvious and as you go through players know where they hit those arms too if they get stuck in the chest that means they're not flipping their hips they're not hitting the arm in the correct spots there we got a nice swim here's a good dip rip here like the pad level watch how low he comes down and rips under and this is a seventh grade kid right here and he really does a nice job ripping under and then finishing with a double arm swipe which again he has decent violence on that but really a great drill to force guys to get a lot of reps in with different moves and here we're working our uh, our slant route with a release so we're making guys release off the line we'd like them to buzz out We'd like a little bit better hand placement here you can see the, the elbow on the pads right there he's up here again if you get too high on the arm you're not going to get as much movement on the DB and he's going to have a better opportunity to get into your chest so we get the release we run the route and what we're forcing the receiver to do now our quarterback is instructed he can either throw before these guys or he can throw after these guys the receiver doesn't know what he's going to pick so he's looking to catch the ball now if he's catching it before the receiver now has an option am I going to catch it and cut up or am I going to catch it and go through either way he's got to protect the ball so in this scenario he goes through you see he's forced to have ball security the arms of the pad are in on him the arms of this pad are in on him we just instruct these two guys here to stay away from the head and neck area but to really bang him as he comes through and you'll notice you can do this obviously in shorts and tees up to full violence uh, or fully being fully suited and going through the drills as well so on this one our receivers going through contact again it's just a great focus drill because he's got to go through contact still secure the ball get up field our last one we'll show you is where he's going to come off how does he do on his release could have buzzed his feet better again hand placement so critical he's a little bit high we'd like him down here if those arms flip up and one of the things you can do as you get into these drills more is this guy becomes more active especially when they put the pads on he gets a lot more active with the pad so he's really got to work to get off of it and that that helps make the feet go um, because it keeps separation and what you'll see here is he's getting the pass before the pad he makes the decision he can cut up before getting to the defender he does that we still get contact and and look at what has to happen here it's great you have to have ball security ball security as you go tremendous job of, of concentration so that's what you're gonna get a flavor of which with each drill exactly what you're working from hand placement to how you're working your feet to focus to high pointing the ball whatever we're working on we'll let you know and you can apply that then in your drills so to get complete access to the the coaching video We'd, we'd like you to purchase a Colt, and we'll give you that full access. 
uh, go to krauskosports.com. Feel free to give us a call at 262-631-0782 for special pricing. Um, it's just a great tool. It's being used at the NFL level, collegiate level. We want to get it out to you as well. So thanks a lot for watching.